Today is a great, wonderful, amazing, incredible day, and I'll tell you why it's an incredible day, because it's a Sweden day. Try and rating Swedish food again. Without further ado, let's get into this reaction. Let's go. Last week I made a video trying food recommended especially by you, the audience. And to my astonishment, it blew up really quick. Like the need to use the toilet after you ate week old leftovers in the fridge quick. That's like Usain Bolt quick. So that has left me with really only one. <laughs> this guy's funny. I like his little video cre creations. It's very creative, I like it. Logical answer here. Let's do it again. I will be trying more food recommended by you. Woohoo! We'll see what happens. First up, the pizzeria. For a most unlikely Swedish treat. Uh, please can I have uh, one kebab pizza? <laughs> Oh man, you see the kebab pizza, I save it a million times. I, th I feel like I've been dreaming about this pizza for the best part of a year. The day I go to Sweden, maybe not the first day, but you know, the day I go to Sweden, when I try this, I just know it's going to be orgasmic in my mouth. <laughs> no. I know I'm going to enjoy it, so I can't wait. Crazy combination. I understand already that it's gonna be freaking amazing. But the kebab pizza was actually invented in Sweden, so it's something that I had to try for sure. What I find strange. To be fair, I've tried the kebab um, pizza, so actually, even though I want the kebab pizza, I'm probably gonna try the banana pizza. Ugh, I don't know. I mean, I'm I'm sure it's nice, but yeah, or maybe I'll try both. Why not? Find strangers in Swedish places, you always have like a free salad. That's not really typical in Australia or New Zealand. It's like a salad. But who's going to complain? There's nobody, there's nothing to complain about. Free salad. And it's like decent salad. I've got some beans, some potatoes, some egg salad. I don't know what these are called. Are you not supposed to put the salad, I don't know why I heard this. Are you not supposed to put the salad on top? A little bit spicy. This is my first Swedish kebab pizza. And it just looks unreal. So what I think it is, is it's kebab me, typical pizza base. None of this sounds wrong at all. At all. Being <laughs> unreal. I don't know what this sauce is. Maybe chili mayonnaise. Where has Sweden been hiding this combination from the world? Thank you to whoever recommended this one. Oh, oh. Thank you so much for your recommendations. This video is for you. Somebody please tell me though, like what's, what, is, what is your favorite combination of these salads? Like why, why do you even have the salads in the first place? Is the pizza not enough? I'm pretty sure he's put the salad on top. I don't, oh, I don't know why I heard that. I don't know why I heard it, but I just feel like someone told me you put the salad on top of the pizza. It's a pizza salad that you put on top of the pizza. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section. For the rating, I would have to give it a solid 10 out of 10. That's awesome. Where's my pizza? Where the f did my pizza go? That's all right, guys. Together we can sort it out. <laughs> this guy, he, do, he puts a lot of work into his videos. Okay, friends, I'm gonna be honest. I ate the pizza. Can I at least show you the, the beautiful beach uh, close to my accommodation? Wow. Nice, nice. I see, I, I, I have so much respect for people that like put that much work into their videos. He's even got a drone. You know, this is not just footage he found. This is a drone shot. Um, wow. Impressed. <laughs> what up, Fritz? I'm currently behind... Wait, currently in front of a huge castle. <laughs> oh, so, un un so underprepared, as always. Yeah, I spend all morning preparing for this, and then I... When it gets to filming, first video, mess it up. Welcome to the town of... 
I Wait, literally what? forgot. He doesn't know what town he's in. Got it. Vedstener. I've come to a restaurant to try Toastgagen, made by professionals. Looking forward to it. And also, this is my first Swedish beer, Eriksberg. I nailed that. It's fantastic. Can't wait to try this Toastgagen the proper way. Okay, friends, I'm about to dig in. This one's got pickled veg caviar. It looks incredible. It looks much better than the version I made. That looks really good. The buttery crispy bread, 10 out of 10 by itself. With the caviar and the pickle veg, it's 12. It's 12. 12 out of 10. Perfection on a piece of bread. To the next food. Where's he swimming? He's got the camera. He's got the camera under the water. Guys, after this video, go subscribe to him. Because he's putting in so much work. Like the, the camera is under the water. I have something to tell you. <gasps> Subscribe. <laughs> Friends, we are back in the kitchen. We are doing some things. This one is called Us Op Skinka Master. Anyways, it's meant to be a really easy kind of Swedish staple that people eat a lot. So we're going to give it a go. Let's get cooking. Let me know in the comment section if what he's making is correct. How he's making it. Cream. Oh my god, it's bright out here today. Friends, this is my Oost Ok Skinka. It looks incredible. Okay, my friends, we're gonna give this a go. Look at that. Oh yeah. Pasta. Thank you, my friends, for the recommendation. Oh, for real. He loves this music, this, this ukulele kind of. Oh, there's palms and cheese in there too. That's amazing. It's creamy, peasy. Well seasoned. Mmm. Oh, yeah. And really fast to make. This is a. This would be a great little 15 minute meal if you had no time for something super delicious and super awesome. I'm giving this one... You can't go wrong with pasta. I'm giving this one an 8.5 out of 10. It's freaking awesome. It's also really similar to an Australian carbonara. If you ever go to a bar in Australia or you find yourself in Australia, you can go to a bar and their carbonaras are sort of this style. Thank you so much for the recommendation. Woo! On to the next food. Also, I'd love to know what kind of other, uh, other kind of combinations you do with this. I saw some people said they add bacon instead. Maybe you add some more herbs, some garlic. Comments, let me know. Love to hear from you. Talk to you soon. Talk to you soon. I gave some to my housemate. Can you give me a rating out of- Yeah, let me know if this is authentic and what would you do with this food that he is not doing with this food? And has he made it correctly? Because, but then he's in the house. Are these, are these Swedes that he's living with? 10. This is Libor, it's his second one. Yeah, second one. Uh, I rate 9 or 10. Oh! He doesn't sound sweet as you say. He sounds Finnish. Yeah. And you, buddy? Me too, man. 9. That's higher than me. I could be wrong. I could be completely wrong. Alright, guys, I pronounced, uh, I pronounced the last meal wrong. The last meal is actually pronounced like. Hinka. Ust och hinka pasta. If you've already dropped some comments, then I. I definitely deserve that. We're making two more things a hot dog with really delicious tasting topping, which was recommended by someone. And we're making. How about I just show you? Such a weird combination. Now, these two next meals require glizzies. We're gonna cook some glizzies and we're gonna show you what I can do with them. Now while I'm waiting for the oil to heat up, what the hell is this? Oh, 
it's mash. It's mash potato, when, right? When did it become like powdered mash? We have this in the UK. No one has powdered mash though, because mashed potato is so easy to make and it's delicious when you make it from actual potatoes. I'm normal to uh, to be eating potatoes from a box. I've never cooked with this in my whole life, and today's <laughs> going to be that day. Potatoes from a I've box. I've tried it. Once. It doesn't even look like a potato. Bad. I also don't know how to make it. It's like rehydrated. Dehydrated. But I've got milk, butter, chives, salt, pepper. I couldn't possibly make it wrong, could I? Okay, so these, these, these two options, they're not like uh, super crazy. They're also- That does not look like that's how it's supposed to look, but let me know in the comment section. Not like super normal. Well, it's at least one of them. The hot dog, super normal. But on top of this hot dog, I have put the Gagendrera. Oh, I'm sorry about my pronunciation. I was recommended this topping by somebody and well, you're not just somebody, you, you're amazing, thank you for commenting. But as soon as I heard that this was a topping for hot dogs, I had to try it. Look at that bad boy. I already know it's gonna be amazing. It has everything I- I mean, I'm sure it's nice, it doesn't look nice to me. <laughs> I like it. I think maybe just some caviar on nice top, maybe some extra shrimp, prawns, whatever you want to think they are. Definitely need to find some new music for this part, but... <laughs> Incredible. Incredible. That creamy, prawny, delicious sauce or topping is the best... Hot dog topping I've ever had. This is 11 out of 10. <laughs> I didn't even think it could get better. I'm constantly amazed. With, without these suggestions, I would be nothing. Nothing. On to the next round. Now this little Swedish delicacy is... Tunbrödsrulla. Tunbrödsrulla. Which I me think it means like thin bread and rolled like literally i'm super excited about this it's kind of weird though because it's got mashed potato in it i don't know if you know swedish people love mashed potato mm. and for the first time i'm realizing the mashed potato comes from a box yeah i mean is it red do you guys actually just have it from a box or do you actually i never asked you guys that you know the mashed potato you have like that oh my god <clears throat> now i'm like contemplating my whole entire life <laughs> Because I had an Ikea, I had some Ikea meatballs and mash. Was that mash, mashed potatoes powdered mash? Are all your mashed potatoes powdered mash? Do you actually use real potatoes? I don't know, Sweden. I don't know, I don't know. It's made me look at you differently now. If you actually do eat just powdered mash. Hmm. Hmm, because it was suspiciously very, very smooth, I thought, the mashed potato at Ikea. Hmm. <laughs> Roll this guy Let's up. See. That does look good though. This is the apex predator of the jungle, I think, my friends. That Boston gherkin looks unreal. Two sausages. Let me know in the comments what kind of combinations you like with this. The first one I saw. Thanks for the recommendation. so well in there frankly it probably should doesn't belong in there but does it belong there hell yes it does it just like adds this really creamy velvety texture to the whole thing if you have never tried a wrap with mashed potato and sausage today's the day that you go to the shop and today's the day you try it okay. I, can die happy. You like that? I can die happy wow this one <laughs> i'm speechless 12 out of 10 this is a 12 out of 10 i would eat this 12 out of 10 he rated this higher. He rated this higher than the kebab pizza. Wow. Maybe not every day, but every second day I would eat it. Amazing. And I think maybe this you is guys, like sweet. Maybe I'm missing the trick because clearly powdered mash is what you 
is, is good. Swedish style street food. If I'm wrong, let me know in the comments. The mashed potato combination is sensational. Sausage, prawn sauce, I'm lost for words. This is amazing. Uh, thank you so much for the recommendation. Tell me what other combinations you like though in the comments. And we're gonna finish this video with one sweet, what I found at the shop, which maybe no one's ever seen before. I'm definitely not gonna eat these for, for my dinner. Literally five seconds later. <laughs> Kill me now. Uh, I just looked and it turned out I used uh, Rak Salat instead of the um, Skagen Röra. So, my bad. Yeah, oh, it was delicious mistake. equally. I could probably switch the two around. Delicious. Uh, last for dessert we have Halon. Buddha Bakalse. Buddha Bakalse. How long? Buddha Bakalse. Why does it sound like he's speaking Finnish? <laughs> it doesn't sound like he's speaking Swedish. Else. Uh, this is interesting. I just like, I'm just trying to find a better cake than the, the princess debt. Princess cake. The green Shrek looking thing. Uh, I'm trying to find something better than that because that was probably one of the best things I've ever had in my whole entire life. Not even to be like dramatic or anything. Anyway, this one was right next to that delicious green Shrek looking cake. This is a raspberry. Oh, it's so soft. Oh. This is a raspberry some kind of pastry. Let me know if this is one of your favorites or if you've never seen I've it. I've never seen life. that before. And I think I have a feeling this is exactly like the Budapest cake I had last week, but the middle is different. The middle's got this one's got raspberries, but I still think there's hazelnuts in there. It almost it doesn't even hold together. I don't know what it is, but it's delicious. It's nine out of ten. Nine out of ten. Okay. Oh, it is looking beautiful today. Friends, thanks for watching my video. Like and subscribe. That was cool. It was a really cool to try some of your culture's food and we're going to try some more in the future. I wonder if he is living in Sweden. Well, he is living in Sweden. He's, he's in Sweden. But I wonder if he's permanently living in Sweden. That's interesting. I don't know. That's a Swedish house, clearly. And he went to a Swedish supermarket. So maybe he is. Um, I think it's a really awesome idea. And I'm like, I might steal that idea for myself when I go to Sweden. Because I want to try some Swedish stuff. But also, cooking it will be pretty fun as well. So maybe I'll just get an Airbnb. That's probably really expensive. I don't know. We'll see. Guys, thank you very much for watching. Until the next one, I will see you very soon.